when post-mortem was done, the accused police officers never had a chance to have their advocate present, neither did they get a chance to send their pathologist to be present for the post-mortem, which is a serious flaw. And that is why we are saying we will need an exhumation order for a proper post-mortem when the suspect, the six police officers, will be allowed to put their pathologists and their lawyers present. This is purely a problem of perception that the police are doing wrong things. On this matter, the police are very clean. They did a fantastic job. They are being, they are being arraigned in court simply because of the perception that the police were part and parcel of the brutal murder. We have produced all the evidences and the annexures and we hope the judge will respond to it and let us not demonize the office, the police office, when they have done a fantastic job but they are now being arraigned for murder. That we have produced real evidence, witness statements, we will be challenging the president of LSK and anybody to produce any evidence linking the six to the murder. That was the narrative that time. Now the country knows properly the proper argument in favor of these six police officers. Me and my lawyers, we are acting for all the six officers. Remember when they appeared before court, they could not even be allowed time to be able to get an advocate to, 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 to represent them. They are all our clients. By the end of the day, the judge will give directions. Pending the, their, their trial, you are asking the court to free them on bond. They should be freed on bond. The matter should be referred to an inquest. Exhumation should be done with a view of them participating in the post-mortem. They should also, and other more matters. So we are seeking for conservative orders. We will not, as lawyers who are sworn in to defend the rule of law and the constitution, use people who are innocent to stop riots in the whole country. If they were never involved in murder, they cannot be charged with an excuse that we are using them as the way it used. We will demoralize the police force. Already the police force is very demoralized because the question that is there, if the police are not involved in murder, must we arrest innocent police officers and charge them so that they serve as an example to the whole country? The president of LSK said the senior officers at Manyata were transferred and that there was a move to transfer your now clients. What is the true position? The administrative aspect of uh, how their transfers are dealt with is not under our jurisdiction. The police have their own ways of transferring staff, and they deal with that. The question before this court and the question before what we have taken to court is, are these the right people to be charged for murder? We have produced evidence to show they are not the right people. If somebody commits suicide, you cannot arrest a policeman and charge him for an offense which the policeman didn't do.